Today, we are going to study about moles and gases. One mole of any gas has a volume of 24 dm cube at room temperature and pressure. This volume is called the molar volume of any gases. Now, uh, Avogadro, an Italian scientist, suggested that equal volumes of all gases contain the same number of molecules, and therefore we called it as Avogadro's hypothesis. So, this hypothesis remains true as long as we have the same room temperature and pressure. So, whenever we are solving numericals, it's important to mention our uh, room temperature and pressure. That means it has uh, at room temperature and pressure. That means one mole of any gas has a volume of 24 decimeter cube. So that is very important to uh, mention. Now, many students like to use the following triangle, especially when initially you're learning the formulas and uh, solving mole concepts. So this formula is, uh, this uh, triangle is very easy with the quantity is very easy to memorize. And then after we use it frequently, it will stay in our mind. So on the top, we have the volume. On the left side, we have number of moles. On the right side, we have molar volume. That is 24 decimeter cube per mole. So therefore, number of moles equals to volume divided by molar volume. Let's understand this by doing some examples. Now, the first example is, Calculate the number of moles of hydrogen gas that occupy 6 dm cube at room temperature and pressure. <coughs> so, number of moles equals to, we can use the formula volume divided by molar volume therefore we have hydrogen gas that occupies six decimeter cube so we can take the volume as six on the top divided by 24 this is the molar volume at room temperature and pressure so this will be equal to 0 0.25 mole so this is the, your answer to it let's do another example example number two a sample of lead four oxide was heated in a test tube and oxygen gas released was collected what mass of the oxide that is lead oxide four lead four oxide what mass of the oxide would be needed to produce 80 centimeter cube of oxygen at rtp so it's very important that uh, here we have to change the unit where required. So it's 80 centimeter cube. So naturally we divide it by thousand. We get we, to convert centimeter into decimeter cube. So it would become 0 0.080 decimeter cube. So let's begin. So moles of oxygen. First of all, moles of oxygen moles of oxygen so again over here 0 0.080 we have converted the centimeter into decimeter cube so we can write down over here 0 0.080 decimeter cube divided by molar volume molar volume is 24 so this will be equal to how many moles? 0 0.0033 moles of oxygen, O, X, Y, G, E, N. So we have found out the moles of oxygen now. Now we have converted it into moles of oxygen. Now we have to find out moles of lead for oxide so next process moles of lead for 
oxide now in order to do that again we should remember if you don't remember please uh, go back to the part two of the video lesson on moles and according to that we get the value of x equals to oxygen here we can consider x equals to oxygen and y equals to lead for oxide that is pbo2 a will be the stoichiometry of oxygen what is the stoichiometry of oxygen uh, sorry the coefficient of oxygen is one so one over there and b is the coefficient of lead what it is it's two so let's uh, solve that therefore 0 0.0033 into 2 divided by 1 equals to 0 0.0066 moles of moles of pb sorry pb o2 so now we have got moles of lead oxide that is uh, lead for oxide that is pb o2 now the next thing is convert the moles of pb o2 to mass so next process is we have to convert moles of PbO2 to mass so let's do that what was the moles of PbO, PbO2 0, 0, 0. 0.0066 so let's take it 0. 0.0066 of PbO2 sorry let's rub this write it neatly yeah PbO2 that is lead for oxide into the molar mass of lead oxide that I am sure you all know we have done that previously molar to find out the molar mass so molar mass of lead oxide will be lead for oxide will be 239 point two gram per mole remember to use the correct unit this will be equal to 1.58 gram so this is the final answer to the question so what mass of oxide would be needed to produce 80 centimeter of oxygen at rtp it is 1.58 gram i hope you have understood it let's do another example so things will become clear to you now in this example determine the mass of methane present in 120 centimeter cube of methane now again over here molar mass molar mass of methane is given 16.0 again over here what do we see it is uh, methane present in 120 centimeter cube so again remember to convert centimeter cube into decimeter cube so how do we do it by dividing 120 by 1000 you will get it as 0 0.120 so let's solve it moles of methane ch4 will be equals to how do we do it volume that is in decimeter cube remember divided by 24 now let's solve this what is the value given 0 0.120 that's because we converted 120 into centimeter into decimeter cube divided by 24 equals to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole then we have to convert this mole into mass so 
mass of methane equals to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into let's rub this 10 to the power 3 into 16.0 what is the 16.0 this is the molar mass of methane carbon is 12 13 14 15 16 4 hydrogen so 16 so this will be finally equal to 0 0.080 gram of ch4 so this is your final answer so i hope students you have understood it uh, if you uh, practice some more problems like this, you'll become much more confident in your work. Students, if you like my work, please subscribe. Thank you.